In this video, I will be showing you how to add objects to your resource browser. Now, um, an object that goes into the resource browser can be a number of things. It could be a video, it could be a sound, it could be a line, a shape, a grid, a background, but most of the time it ends up being some sort of an image. And so um, I'm gonna show you a couple samples of that and then um, I'm also going to um, add a page to the resource library. So in my example, as a former physiology and anatomy teacher, I have two skeletons. And I wanna put those two skeletons in my images folder. And right now my images folder, you can tell it has some subfolders because of this little triangle next to it. So I click on that triangle to see the subfolders inside. I have circul circulatory system, media, and skeletal system. I set those up previously. So I want these to go into the skeletal system folder, which is currently empty, you can see, because it's blank down here. And the way that I would do that is simply by selecting. So I'm just going to click on my first fun skeleton. And then I go to this, uh, I get my object edit icons and I grab the, um, the arrows that are like crossbars and I click and drag and drag till it turns into a green plus sign and I drop. And now I got my little fun skeleton in there. I want to rename this little guy so I can click on him and go under this icon and I'm going to say rename and I'm going to type in uh, skeleton, skeleton fun and I click OK. And then the next one is an actual skeleton from the back or the posterior view of it and so I'm going to click on that one and drag and drop that into the same folder and I want to rename that as well. So I'm going to click on it, rename the file, and I'm going to say skeleton posterior or on the, from the back side. So that's how you get objects into the resource library. In this next, next example, I have a page and this is a name picker page where I click on a one of the stars, pull it out, and this is a way to randomly put together groups of students. And I, this, this would be a great template to have um, for um, year after year. And so if I want to use this as a template, I'm going to drag these things back in here, get them back in, and I want the entire page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close and find my, uh, my folder I call templates. And this is the name picker, not the nose picker, but the name picker. So what you do is you hold the control key down if you're a Mac user or you right click if you're a PC user. So I'm holding the control key down. I'll click somewhere on the white space and I am going to choose add to resource library and add page. That's the entire page. It can be like a template I change or get out later for a different flip chart I'm on. So I say add page and sure enough there it is. And I want to rename that page and call it my name picker and click OK. Now I have that as a, an object that I can use in the future very easily by pulling out in a new flip chart. That's it.